Many of us go to the pharmacy just to pick up our prescriptions, not realizing our pharmacist is so much more. I'm Erica Wilkinson, clinical pharmacist with ComCare. Erica, thank you so much for being on the show. As a pharmacist, I'd like to have you on to talk about what you are an expert in, which is medication. Um, wanted to start out and talk about some new pneumonia vaccines that are out. Why don't you talk about that? Yeah, so the, the most common new pneumococcal vaccine is called Prevnar 20. It was approved in February of this year for adults at risk for pneumococcal infections. Those categories of adults are going to be anyone who's 65 and older, and then those with certain immunocompromising conditions that are between the ages of 18 and 64. To get those, would you, could you actually get them at, at the pharmacies, or can you go to your doctor? Yeah, either way, whatever is most convenient for patients. Um, it, most commercial insurances are paying for them and can be approved at pharmacies and doctor's offices, or uh, Medicare also approves of this medication at 100% cost for patients who have Medicare too at either location. The other day I was picking up allergy medication at, actually at the pharmacy and was actually floored by the amount of different types of allergy medication. Why don't you help us simplify that a little bit? I'll say the most common recommendation to start with just mild allergy symptoms is going to be any tablet that you find for non-drowsy. Those are going to be something like Claritin or the generics are perfectly fine, Claritin or Zyrtec. All of those options that are non-drowsy would be the first recommendation. And then you can add on um, things like Flonase or Nasacort for added symptom relief. If the eyes are itching, a lot of times allergy eye drops are going to be a rec good recommendation as well. For for children, that gets a little bit more tricky. So anyone who is under six, we usually avoid Benadryl type products. So those are going to be the drowsy ones. Um, the non-drowsy ones are fine for children under six, but you will want to talk to a doctor or pharmacist for the correct dose. Eric, I know when I pick up a prescription, they always ask me for, for a consult with the pharmacist. Why is it so important to do that? So pharmacists can help patients really understand the purpose of their medications. They can provide education on how to take medications and then also how to minimize or look out for side effects and what those side effects will be like for patients. They can also help explain drug interactions. So if a medication is newly prescribed for a patient and there is already existing medications that will affect the way that those two medications interact, pharmacists can help um, piece those two together or communicate with the physicians that are prescribed those and how to manage those. Over-the-counter medicines are also an important role to consider. Over-the-counter medicines, while available without a prescription, aren't always safe. And so that's when a pharmacist can come in and determine whether or not a patient would be a good fit for that over-the-counter medicine or if they should really be speaking to a physician first. For more information, please visit srhc.com, like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter and Instagram.